think the biggest impact that judo's had on my life is that it's opened doors for me all around the world. I definitely have done things that had nothing to do with judo, like in terms of my work or my school where I've traveled or I've had jobs different places, but I think that I've found that with judo, I go anywhere in the world and find people that also do judo that I can train with and be friends with and have something in common with. And it is in some ways a universal language. If you do judo, like you're, you're in the club and so you can find a place to hang out or practice or train anywhere you go in the world. So I think probably I was early 20s when I realized that like I wanted to be an Olympian and it was a reality, but the rest of the story is that it took me until I was 36 to make the team. So um, I guess uh, I'm either really dumb or really stubborn, but uh, uh, it paid off for me in the end. I thought um, I had just very narrowly missed out on the team in 2021. Uh, um, I knew I was very, very close to qualifying towards the very end, um, but it was going to really determine um, different factors in terms of them calculating the slots etc so when they called me um, telling me that I made the team I actually did not have plans to take the summer off and so um, my first reaction was oh my gosh I've got to get out of work um, I have to get the time off of work and then things just snowballed into two months of crazy. Getting to compete in Tokyo was really awesome because you know, judo was invented in Japan and it was just an atmosphere where the locals know the sport, they know the rules of the sport. You get taxi drivers that you know know famous judo players and they know the rules and they know the games. You get grandmothers that have seen judo on TV. And so I think that really like helps to like make it have a really cool atmosphere. And even like the military people who were helping like process us in and out of the village, um, if they saw like our judo geese, it was automatically like we were cooler than the rest of the athletes. I'm like, we're really not that cool, but uh, thanks for letting us budge in front of the basketball players, you know. So that was kind of nice.